Hi guys, this is Erica from From Brains to Beauty. Yesterday I filmed a tutorial on this hot pink and gray marble nail design. And if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you already know I did this and you probably saw the picture. But I originally did this with a light pink and gray, hoping to get a very vibrant pink over the gray background, but instead it turned very cloudy and milky and it didn't marble as much as I would have liked and so I ended up redoing it and chose this hot pink instead since it was a much more matte and vibrant color but overall it ended up becoming more dark or darker than I had anticipated but the marble still turned out great and so I have that for you and if you're interested you can always do it with a different color combination so I hope you enjoy if you're interested in learning how to create this 4.2 color marble nail design, please keep watching. The items used in this tutorial will be listed on my blog. If you're interested, for more information, please visit the full blog entry link below in the comments section. After you've prepped your nails, that is, pushed back your cuticles and filed and buffed them, paint on your favorite base coat. Once that's dried, apply two coats of a gray polish. Once your nails have completely dried, we want to tape our fingers to prevent a lot of cleanup later. Using two pieces of tape, wrap the first around the base of your cuticle as close to the nail as possible. Next, place a second piece of tape on the tip of your finger. Wrap the ends along the side of your nail bed to cover the sides of your cuticle. Push the center down along the bottom of your fingernail and wrap the remaining pieces around the bottom. Repeat for the rest of your nails. Get your polishes prepared for marbling by opening up all of the polishes so that you're not fussing with it during dropping. For this tutorial, I am using two colors. To create your marble, you must first create your bullseye. In most marbles, I like to alternate one after the other, but for this tutorial, I wanted thicker pink lines, so I am dropping two hot pink drops for every one gray drop. As you can see, I started with the gray first and intend to end with the pink last so that the pink will be in the center of the design. To create your marble pattern, we are going to take a toothpick or an orange stick and pull from the center out to the edges, making four points similar to a compass. Next, we're going to take four more points except coming from the outer ring into the center in between the four points we just created. Once you've pulled into the center, if you notice that your pattern is off center, you can stick your orange stick or toothpick back into the center to pull the material towards the middle. At this stage, I would typically dip two fingers in at a time, but for this tutorial, we're only going to do one. I've decided which pattern I like best for the nail and have decided to turn it around for the best dipping angle. As you can see, I've chosen the bottom left. Next, holding your finger parallel to the water, dip it straight down and then pull it towards the side of the vessel with your nail submerged. Blowing on the surface of the water will help increase the speed in drying of the polish at the surface. Using your toothpick, remove the excess nail polish. This is the reason why I like to pull my finger up to the side so that I'm not trying to clean nail polish all the way around, but only in front. And then you're done. There's your marble. Repeat this marble for each nail.
Once your pattern has dried, remove the tape. And you definitely want to make sure it's completely dry. If you attempt to remove it beforehand, you may mistakenly mess up the pattern that you've created. Next, we're going to clean up. Using a Q-tip and nail polish remover, you want to remove any nail polish you may have gotten around your cuticle or anywhere else on your fingers. As you can see, thanks to the tape, we only have to remove nail polish from small sections of our finger. Repeat this process for all of your nails. If you want more precision, using a brush and more nail polish remover, go back through and clean up around your cuticles in the areas that you could not use the Q-tip for. Again, repeat this for the rest of your nails. And finally, to complete this look, apply your favorite top coat. So here's the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this tutorial, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest. And if you're super awesome, please subscribe. It's free. Thanks for watching. This is Erica from From Brains to Beauty.